she's so talented. You can find her here. She's called Amy Handmade Ceramics on Instagram. Look at this little pot she's made. You might be still asleep. I'm surprised. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> I'm you... trying to get in a good sleep pattern. You missed on the studio vlog. You look pretty. You must have have you got makeup on? Thank you. Yeah, I've I put it on just to go to the shop because I hadn't put it on in so long. <laughs> <laughs> well that's convenient for the vlog. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> How cute is this little pot? I'm so impressed with it. I'm definitely keeping it in the studio. It goes so cute. She called it the cotton candy bear. Anyway, hello guys. Welcome to another studio vlog. I've just had a call with Emily. It's been such a long time. I know a lot of you guys have been saying that you've been missing Emily and stuff, but due to lockdown and everything, we haven't managed to be able to see each other. So we do like video chats and stuff. That's how I would show her face. So I've just got off the call with Em and today I want to make a bunch of enamel pins. Now my iPad has run out and I like to draw, I'm so used to drawing, should I say, on my iPad now. So I'm charging that at the moment and fingers crossed it'll have enough charge to be able to work on it today because I don't have a very good lead. I bought these cheap leads which were meant to be really good off Amazon and they don't charge my iPad very well. Uh, so I'm currently charging that and then we're going to get to work on making some new enamel pins. I've also received a package off for Memo which is like a little portable cute printer and they sent me some photo paper and everything and I thought we might as well unbox this and give it a go and see what it looks like because as you guys know I bought myself a HP sprocket uh, a couple of weeks ago and I did a review video I'll leave it here for you guys to check it out if you're interested so that this would be cool for my planner so thank you for Memo for sending me this over it's not sponsored I just want to open it for you guys so first of all I'm going to answer some emails I'm going to reply to your guys comments on the last studio vlog thank you very much for leaving comments it always makes my day and I do try and answer as many as I can but it is really hard to get around them all so excuse me if I don't manage to get around every single one but I do try I do give it my best shot so I'm gonna drink my coffee wake myself up and reply to your comments and reply to emails and stuff so let's get into the studio vlog also I totally forgot to mention that I've actually bought two more crickets so as you guys know I have these two put in the stickers but we're slowly running out of time to cut things so we have to like double the production and they didn't have any pink or lilac ones available on the shop and we're also waiting for a peacock green one but for some reason it hasn't been delivered in the same parcel so I'm going to unbox this and put it in next to here but then I don't think there's going to be a space for a fourth one so I think I'm going to have to have some sort of shelving unit if anyone has any suggestions please let me know in the comments because uh, I really need a new way of having these run but hopefully these will all look pretty cool together the one thing I love about the crickets is how pretty they look It's literally so bright. It looks really good next to them two though. I wish I had lilac or pink. It's really bright compared to them two. It's kind of cool though. I really like it. It's like a sunflower yellow. And I've also got a peacock green, which is totally not going to match because it's dark, but there was no lilac or pinks, which I'm really sad about. But look at this collection of crickets now. Look at this.
Okay, so it's currently 20 past uh, 7 and we want to head home soon, but I thought I would quickly show you the designs that I've done for the pins. So I always redesign them by drawing around them and stuff. So I've got this little catnip. Um, pin it's gonna be the first merchandise pin that I do for catnip she hasn't got her own pin or anything at the moment but I think she's just so cute so I wanted to make her into a little pin so we've got catnip and then we've got a pineapple one which looks really cute and I just simplified the design from the original illustration so that I would fit on a pin and then we've got lilac the mermaid she's also been adjusted and I've changed the colors slightly to make it look nice for the pin it's really 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 hard to find a Pantone skin color that is suitable so I'm fingers crossing for this because I've never actually done a skin color for an enamel pin before my last lilac the mermaid was white and then we've got Satsuma the cat who's going to be a pin I'm really excited for this one I think the colors are gonna turn out really cool then we've got an Oreo pin which is gonna be so cute and tiny and I just think it'll be a really cool pin in general then we've got pudding now this looks a little bit odd because all these solid colors here are gonna be gold and um, so it'll be like solid gold when you see it which will be like the background of the leaf so hopefully they'll look nice and then I've also got a recolor of my fries pin and a reorder of everything so yeah, that's what I've been working on. But I think I'm gonna head home now because I may need to make some tea. And also look at my makeup, it's all like smudged all over my face and all my makeup's like cracking off. It's so gross. I need to just wash my face and start from scratch. But now that's all done and it's so good to get it off your to-do list when all the tedious work, like the design part of it, not the design in general, just like the little fiddly bits because when you change it into an enamel pin there's different variables that you have to bear in mind like the size and is it going to work small scale and I tend to have my ruler because I, I actually zoom in and out on Procreate to get like the size that I want to make sure you can see all the little details and everything. I don't know if that's like the most professional way of doing it but that's the way I do it. Uh, so yeah, it feels good to have that ticked off my to-do list and now I'm going to head home and make some tea so I'll see you tomorrow. Look what's arrived, the Satsuma the Cat notepads have finally arrived which means I can release the bee notepads and the strawberry notepads all at the same time but look how cute this looks. We've got little oranges in the corner and we've got Satsuma the Cat. This one actually might be my favourite one, I think I like this better than the lemon, the strawberry and the bee one. Because I just really like the colours. I'm not sure what it is, but the browns and oranges just work really well together. I'm totally keeping a few to myself. So now, I actually, I'm going to release them in my Etsy shop. And I'm going to get my photography stuff out and take some photos of these babies. And also the ones that are up here. So, so these are the other ones. You'll probably have seen this in my last studio vlog. We've got the strawberry one. That's going to get launched. And then we have the B one so I'm gonna go and get all my photography stuff out which is just like this little setup here and turn all the lights on and take some photos of these babies <laughs>
morning welcome back today i have quite a lot of stuff to do today i'm gonna pack some orders because i've got some baby blue orders that need packing but first of all i really want to try out that four memo or fee memo i'm so sorry if i'm saying it wrong uh print it for my planner i really want to see what it looks like and how it turns out so they actually sent me this it's gifted for memo i think it's called and it's a little portable printer and it's so cool because you guys know i've been really enjoying the hp sprocket but i use that at home for my diary at home so it's going to be interesting to see yeah what this looks like because i think these are really really affordable and i think the black and white i think the mono and I've never had a mono portable printer like this. The first ever portable printer I had was the HP Sprocket. So I'm going to do a little unboxing and then we're going to get to work on some orders. So let's get into working today, shall we? Whoa, it's really chunky actually. Look at this. It's like quite a chunky box. Cool. I think you might have to put rolls of paper in this one. Oh, look at this inside. So when you open it up, it's got like, I'm guessing this is where you put the paper. Oh, this is the paper. Oh, it is the paper. Tear it, and then your little thing comes off. And I'm guessing we just connect it via Bluetooth. And we also have some more printed paper here. And it says you can customize for up to five years. So I'm guessing it lasts around five years. We also have some more paper here too. I wonder why they put the boxes in individual plastic. It's probably to stop the paper from getting damaged. This one says custom long lasting thermal paper. So I'm just charging up the printer in the background and I'm also downloading the app. Oh, it's just finished, I think. And uh, I'm just having a look. I'm curious what these little photo papers look like. Ooh, so you get quite a lot of photo papers. So this is a pack of extra photo papers. So that'll last quite a long time when you look at the roll. And then there's also some coloured ones. I like the idea of having the coloured paper because it can make your banner look really pretty. And, and I'm sure they sent me multiple different colours, so I'm going to see. Oh, they sent me the pastel coloured ones. They're really cute. You can make your planner look really adorable in there. I like the little packaging it comes in. Really dainty and cute. So I'm on the 4Memo app and it's automatically coming in. Suitable for bullet journal and family storage. So I'm going to print on the web templates. So we've got templates as well. I think it's designed specifically for planner and bullet journaling. Oh, so look at these templates that they've already got. <gasps> we've got a little Totoro one here. Oh, this is so cute. This is actually really good for planners. Uh, well, nothing printed out. I'm confused. Nothing printed out here. It's also like sticky pack paper, like a label printer, um, like thermal paper. But it's not printing out. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Have I put the paper in the wrong way? Okay, now let's try. There we go. Oh, that's cute. And there we have a little sticker for our planner. We could stick it in like that. I'm going to find another template and I'm going to print it out with one of the colour ones. So this colour paper actually isn't sticky backed, um, which is a bit of a shame because the white paper was sticky backed. I tried one of my illustrations and it makes it like black and white and monotone. 
and did it on some yellow paper. I do wish this was sticky back though so I could stick it straight into my planner. That would make my life a lot easier. I'll have to use like a little bit of glue for this to stick down. It's currently 7 p.m. and I think we're finished for orders for today. I've got a few more orders that I actually made up, like this print, fun fact. This is from like 2017, maybe 16. It's quite an old print, but we sold one of them, so that's pretty cool over on Baby Blue. But yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. There's no question of the week this week. Rather, I would love for you guys to check out the Black Lives Matter card in the description below. It's a link to some amazing, valuable resources and ways to help out the cause. I know you have probably been bombarded with a lot of information lately. Everything that's going on is a little crazy and it's getting a little wild, but it's really, really important that we listen and we educate ourselves on this. I've been kind of very ignorant towards everything. I've been in my own little bubble. I know I'm here in the UK, but I would like to help anywhere I can. So if you guys could go and check that out. It's got a link to a lot of resources over on that um, link. So that would mean the world. I hope you're all safe and well. This year has been so crazy. I wonder what's around the corner. I'm not even surprised at anything anymore. I hope you're all safe and well. I hope you've enjoyed this studio vlog. Thank you so freaking much for watching. I'll see you very, very soon in the next one. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. Goodbye.